What's cooking guys? Organization is key when it comes to editing video projects. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the best way to organize your files so you can edit like a pro. So we're gonna start from the very beginning as if you just got your SD cards full of all your footage and you plugged them into your computer. And then we're gonna open up our Finder window. I'm on Mac, but if you're on Windows, it's the same thing, just it's called File Explorer or whatever. But mainly we just wanna locate where we wanna put our files. In my case, I'm gonna put it on a hard drive. So this is my location. I'm gonna expand this just a little bit so you can see it. And then on my hard drive, I always store every single project I do inside of one folder. It's a projects folder. And then I have the different types of projects that I like to create. I have my promo videos I make, my tutorials, social posts, weddings, and I just keep creating different folders for the different genres of stuff I create. Say you make YouTube videos, create a folder that's just YouTube videos. But for my case, I shot a wedding, so I'm gonna go into my weddings folder, and then this is where I would wanna create another folder and then put everything I have on my SD cards into that folder. And then we're gonna break it down even more from there. So I'm gonna start right, right here to creating a new folder. Uh, my wedding was for Julia and Alyssa. So that's the folder I named. I like to make sure it's locked in. So this is the folder that I'm gonna be putting everything in. This is where basically I'm gonna start really getting into the file format for my projects. So I'm gonna double click into this and this is where I will create a new folder and I'm gonna name it raw. And then here is where I put everything for my SD card. If I have multiple SD cards like camera one, camera two, those are different folders. But for me, for a wedding, I actually will have even more folders than that because I like to separate it based on the events. So like ceremony, intros, first dance, parent dances, all on separate folders. That's just the easiest way to do it for a wedding. And if it's just for one shoot, one camera, just throw it all into just this one folder if that's easier for you. But basically you just wanna break it down into distinctive folders. But I'll get into that a little more. So I'm just gonna pull this aside and I'm gonna double click on my SD card, open that up. And then here I will just try to locate where my files are. So in my case, this is just a micro SD card and it was my audio folder. So these are the two clips I need. So I'm going to go into my raw, I'm gonna create a new folder and this is just gonna be an audio folder. And then I'm gonna grab both those audio clips and put them into that audio folder. And then when that's done, now I have my audio folder with my two clips. I could go deeper and actually name these, like go into this clip and be like, what is this? I know this is my ceremony, so I could always just re rename this to ceremony. And I honestly don't even know what this is. Uh, I think this is actually, this is like intros and dances. So I, I can name that if you really wanna name that. You don't necessarily need to. So now I actually have my first folder here, audio. And now I can eject this and put in a new SD card. And now that I have my new SD card, open that, expand it a little bit. Private, let's see, root, clip. And then I'm gonna just, for me personally, I'm gonna go by kind and show all. And then here are all my clips. And I already know for my first clips, these are all kind of getting ready shots. So I'm gonna right click in here and create a new folder called getting ready. And then inside that folder, I will start dragging all my getting ready shots, which for me, it was quite a bit. I go a little bit at a time. So I know all those are getting ready shots. These are the last two bits of getting ready and that's my getting ready files. And now I'm going to create a new folder into the next thing I know. So for my case, this is kind of like a ceremony B-roll. So I'm just gonna name another folder called ceremony B-roll. And then again, I'm gonna open that folder and then I'm gonna put my ceremony B-roll in there, which is all these clips. So I'm basically just gonna keep this process going. I'm gonna create a new folder for all the different types of footage I have. So in my case, this next part is going to be the ceremony. So I'm gonna create a new folder for ceremony and put my next batch of footage into that. And then just keep going all the way through all my footage until I have very specific folders for all of my files. And like I said, for me, I'm doing a wedding, so I have a lot of different folders and a lot more specific files. But for you, this could just be your raw footage. All your footage is in here. If you just did one simple shoot, or you have two folders with camera one, camera two, or you have more folders for the different specific subjects that you did. But the process is the same thing, just putting your files inside the raw folder and then separating it into more folders if you need, depending on what your footage is. So I'm just gonna keep continuing doing that.
All right, so I got all of my files off of my multiple SD cards into all these folders. And then some folders like my ceremony folder, I have I had two cameras going. I had a camera one and a camera two. And you can do this one or two ways. You could do two folders, camera one, camera two, and put those files in their corresponding place. Or you could just label them all, just like cam one, ceremony, cam two, ceremony. And if it kind of trickled over into multiple clips, camera two, ceremony ones, Cam 2, Ceremony 2, something like that. I did also the same thing for speeches as well. Wherever speeches is, right here, I have a Cam 1 and a Cam 2 speeches right here. Label it the best way so it's just easy to find and it's easy to pick out when you're actually editing in Premiere because it's just gonna say it right here and you're like, oh, this is the clip I need rather than having to watch it and figure out what it is. So after you have all your folders and all your files organized into folders or your footage just put into this raw folder if it's just a small project we are going to continue by creating a new folder and we are going to call it NLE this is our premiere file this is where we will put our sequences so I have premiere open right here and I'm going to hit a new project and I'm going to first change my project name to Julia and Alyssa wedding and I'm going to change the location and I'm going to put it inside of that NLE folder. So going to my projects, my weddings, Julia and Alyssa, and then here's my NLE folder. I'm going to put that in there and then I'm going to just hit create. So now when I go into my NLE folder, here is my Premiere file. So whenever I save, this is where it's being saved. You don't want to just throw everything into one folder and then have like all your raw clips and then your files and then your exports all in one folder it is a mess it will not work trust me so that's why I create my own folder for just my sequences so now that we have that we could always just import all of our footage and it's so much easier just to import one single folder than just a bunch of clips because I organize all my clips into this one raw folder so I just have to import that folder it's just so much easier to select that one folder you created with all your other files in separate folders because then you just have to select that one folder and then it all imports just like this simple as that rather than having to select a bunch of different clips if you have a bunch of different clips in one folder not organized at all and making sure you select the right amount or the right ones and then all of a sudden it's just all these clips right here and it's just a nightmare and you just don't want that and now that we have that done we only have two more folders left to create and those are more of the folders you'll end up filling later on in your editing process but one is called exports and then another one I call images images is kind of like what I use for thumbnails if I need to use a thumbnail for like my website like a screen grab from Premiere or for my YouTube channel I just put my screen grabs in there so for example if I hit raw and I go into first dance and I have this clip right here and I want to have a screen grab like right here I can just hit this export frame and I like to use a PNG and I just browse. I just put it inside of that images and I just choose and I just label this as like thumbnail. And I go into my finder and I go into my images. Here's a screen grab I just got. Just another easier location for your creation of your images or your thumbnails for whatever you need them for. It's just better to keep them in a separate folder. And then of course the last is just exports. This is simple as going into your exports and then when you're ready, you just choose your export location. And like I said, Julia and Alyssa, and here's your exports. And then you just save that right there. And then I hit export. That will simply just pop up straight into my exports right here. It's just nice to have its own separate exports folder because I will do multiple cuts or I'll do like a social post. All that will just go inside the exports and not get intertwined with uh, my images or raw files or whatever. All right, so that's the best way you can organize your files for your video projects to edit like a pro in Premiere Pro. So I hope this helps. I hope this will improve your editing process because organization is always key to starting a project. This is the most important part. And I think this is the best way to do it. So if you think this is the best way to do it, make sure you like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you can be kept up with all my other tutorial videos like this. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.